Nodes and Clients By now we know that Ethereum is a decentralized network of computers, known as nodes, that run software to verify blocks and transactions. But what software is this and how do we actually send a request to the network to read from and write to the Ethereum state? First of all, any request to read from or write to the Ethereum network state needs to be sent to a node on the network for it to be processed. For a computer to become a node, it needs to run both the execution and consensus layers of Ethereum. The execution client is responsible for executing transactions and holding the current state of the Ethereum network. On the other hand, the consensus client, also known as the beacon node, implements the proof-of-stake consensus algorithm that enables the network to achieve agreement on validated data from the execution client. There are three main types of nodes, a full node, light node, and an archive node. A full node stores all the blockchain data, verifies all blocks and states, and serves the network by providing data on request. A light node only downloads block headers and gets other information from the full node, but it is less hardware intensive and enables users to participate in the Ethereum network. An archive node stores all data and builds an archive of historical state. But this is more data intensive and is intended for services like block explorers. Now why would you want to run your own node? Well, running your own node allows you to use Ethereum in a private and trustless manner. Your node verifies all transactions and blocks against consensus rules by itself. This means that you don't have to rely on any other nodes or fully trust them because you can check the state yourself. Running a node contributes to the network making it more robust and decentralized. Also note that there are many different Ethereum clients available, but the most commonly one used is Geth. Geth is an implementation of an Ethereum execution client. Now the big question is how do we communicate and send requests to the Ethereum network if we are not running our own node? This is where the JSON RPC comes in. The JSON RPC is a remote procedure call, a protocol encoded in JSON. It is used to communicate with the Ethereum clients and allows you to interact with the Ethereum network and make transactions without running a full node. A developer can send a request to either a public or private JSON RPC API endpoint that acts as the communication layer with the node giving a developer access to use the node. Here is an example of such an endpoint and an example of the data that we send to the endpoint. There are a few public endpoints that's available to use and they're good enough for small applications. But if you are going to make a big application, I highly recommend getting a private endpoint for scalability purposes. You can get your own RPC endpoints at providers like QuickNode or Infura. If you want to know more on how to run your own node, I will leave extra resources at the end of this section. But for now, just know that as a developer, we use the JSON RPC endpoints to communicate with the network.